All right, let's talk about really, really, really old op amps. Um, this is an LM741. This is the classic. This is the thing that kind of started it all, the 741. Somebody missed me, you know, LM709s. There, there are older ones and stuff, but the 741 was just like a mainstay for years. It was just a great op amp. Uh, it says like great features, nearly foolproof, overload protection on the input and output, no latch up. Um, uh, it, was, it was a great, great uh, op amp. And uh, they still are. Um, they are, uh, you can get them in a dip package. They came, originally they came in a round TO5 can type of thing, uh, but uh, you can get them in, you can get them in surface mount now too. Um, but um, yeah, so we'll be using a dip version and eight pin, but it's only a single, single op amp. You don't get two in the package, you only get one. And that frees up some pins so you can add things like uh, offset null, right? And so, yeah, let's take a look at offset null. Uh, well, here's the circuit right here. You just add a, uh, you add a resistor to it. Now, uh, we looked at offset nulls before. We looked at it with the, uh, the OP07. And if you remember the OP07, uh, you put your, uh, your, your resistor across here and tie it to plus V. And uh, that's the way that works. Here's plus V coming in. And here are the two, two sections of the differential amplifier on the input. And you put your uh, voltage here with a potentiometer. Um, if you take a look at it on the 741, it's it's a uh, similar but different. Okay, uh, this is your input, your plus minus input, but you can see that the uh, the offset null is at the bottom. So this is negative voltage. So it's the same thing. You add a resistor potentiometer and the wiper you add to minus V. So some op amps you use plus V and some op amps you use minus V, and this one uses minus V. Okay. And uh, we'll be taking a look at that a little bit long, a little bit later, because I, uh, I found an interesting thing about that. Uh, but yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, turn one on. I have it in a, a times ten amplifier here. All right, and uh, so the input is yellow and the output is uh, is blue. And uh, this is the frequency uh, one kilohertz, and we can we can increase the frequency, and things just get. Faster and faster and faster, and then whoop, and then you can see that the uh, as you go faster and faster, the uh, the amplitude of the uh, of the output goes down. So we're reaching the speed limit of the op amp, right? And uh, it's still functioning just fine. We're getting some uh, uh, phase shift. We saw that on the Bode plot that phase shifts as the uh, as the amplifiers roll off. Uh, but it's still it's still doing its thing. It's just uh, not as not as not as big, right? Doesn't have the gain of ten. It only has a gain of something or other, right? Gain of five or something. Um, so yeah. So we'll just we'll just back up back here to, uh, to let's say eight kilohertz. That's fine. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Oops. There we go. I wanted to change this knob. There we go. I wanted to change that knob. All right. Um, so you can see, you know, it's it's acting just fine. All right. So um, I'm going to start to whipping a dead horse again. Uh, I'm going to talk about fake op amps one more time. It's kind of like me talking about solar solar roadways, right? <laughs> you can't have too many. You can't have too many videos about solar roadways. Um, so uh, I was on eBay and I came across uh, uh, ten op amps. 741s um, for a dollar ninety, I think, a dollar ninety, free shipping, um, and I wanted to prove to myself that even the oldest, cheapest op amp in the book is being cloned. They don't care what the part number is. See, it made a whole, it made a whole lot of sense to to try to fake the OP07, right? You could use maybe a one dollar op amp. To fake a seven dollar op amp, right? But if you're if you're if you're trying to, you know, trying to clone a ten cent op amp with a five cent op amp, does that make any sense at all? Um, so anyway, these are all seven forty ones, and uh, I've put red paint on them because I don't want to mix them up. Um, I'll, I'll put a picture here of what the thing looked like before I put red paint on it. Uh, but yeah, these are supposed to be official seven forty ones. What are these? St. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, pop one into our circuit here. Let me turn the power off. And uh, I will pop out this op amp. 
and we will put in one of these op amps I just purchased and we'll see how they do. So I've had a lot of comments, people saying, um, okay, you didn't get the op amp you wanted to, but it's still a fine op amp. You should just save them and use them for all kinds of projects. And, uh, you know, then I had kind of a, a fun story to say, well, just go get a whole bunch of op amps. You always get your money back. Always tell them they're no good and you get your money back. So you get free op amps, right? You get as many free op amps, op amps as you want, right? I got reimbursed for these. So these are all free now. So you can get as many free op amps as you want. And you thought, well, this is great. I'll just get hundreds and hundreds of op amps for free. I don't really care if they're the right part number or not, right? They're op amps. So Okay, yay, right? So, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see how this one operates. Okay, and if you notice, uh, there's a little bit of funniness at the bottom there, right? That's, uh, that's, not, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. That's only at 8 kilohertz, right? We can slow it down even farther, right? This is uh, 2 kilohertz, right? It's this ugly bump. And then uh, as you go... As you go up in frequency, uh, oops, I went too far. I want to show you something now. I went down too far. Sorry, my hand's going to be on the way here for a second. Uh, yeah, it just, it's just, it gets so ugly. It just gets so ugly. And then bang, it kind of fixes itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so <laughs> you can't use these parts. They're not good for anything, okay? So if you buy op amps off of eBay or someplace else, or, you know, Ali, AliExpress or something, um, you're probably gonna get bad op amps. I mean, these things are just awful. There's just absolutely no way, no way to use these things, and there isn't. Um, so if that wasn't bad enough, okay, so I wanted to show you a trick today. All right, so uh, let me get out a multimeter. Um, we're going to be measuring some resistance. Let's see here. I'll try to get try to get top map and camera here. Try to get everything so you can see what's going on. Oh, that's not bad. All right. So I've got it on ohms. All right. So let me uh, like let me short this out. Make sure my my ohmage is working. Yes, my ohmage is working. 0.5 ohms. Okay. So let's take a look at the. Um, the circuit for the uh, 741. Remember I showed you this offset null thing? And there is uh, the v minus V goes through a 1K resistor to pin 1 and goes through a 1K resistor to pin 5. Okay, so here's my, here's my op amp and I'm going to go to pin 5 and I'm going to test pin 1 and I get uh, 760 ohms, uh, right? And if I go to pin 5, I get 760 ohms, right? And so instead of 1K, it's, it's, uh, it's 760. Um, so that's just, you know, local variation. Doesn't really matter in the circuit too much, right? All right. So let's measure one of these, uh, one of these clones, okay? So I'll go to minus V, and then I'll go to pin 1, and I'm going to go to pin one <laughs> and nothing. And I'm going to go to pin five and nothing. Okay. So the V offset pin null pins are, are not bonded out. There's, those are no connects on those two pins. There's nothing on those two pins. All right. So not only do you get an off amp that actually doesn't work at all, you get one that doesn't have this either. Um, what are you going to use this op amp for? I mean, yeah, okay, maybe you don't need the offset null. Okay, fine. But um, it's a good way to check if your devices are good or bad, right? Um, we, you, you see here how I, I could use it to test that these were bad op amps. They, they don't have that 1K resistor in them, right? And the, uh, the OP07 had, uh, had resistors in it, but you went to the plus side, right? So you went plus, plus to pin one and plus to pin eight. It also has a different pin out. But you get to measure these two resistors. If those two resistors aren't there, well, then your part's not, not real. And on the 741, the, the, the resistors aren't there. Yeah, your part's not real. So um, 
There is a very long thread in the EEV blog about this whole thing, and somebody actually went through and decapped a whole bunch of ICs and, and found that there was at least a dozen different types of Chinese op amps that are used in these uh, fake parts. And it just, it just varies. And you might get one, you might get another, but those, those uh, different ICs and stuff, just, I don't know how they get a hold of them. I don't know what those parts were originally. I don't know who actually does the, these, make these parts, how they actually wire bond them and encapsulate them and stuff. There must be some factory that is able to build IC packages. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, if you if you think you can use uh, you think you can use these things and you're perfectly happy with uh, with waveforms that look like this, then yeah, go ahead and use them. But I'm not going to.